Hola, this video is for Dorothy. Upon request, language matrix AR verbs, uh, ER verbs, and IR verbs, including the we form. I'll do the, the they form and the y'all form too. Uh, here we go. Hablo means, it's not past. All right, look, present tense, hablo, I speak. <clears throat> now, instead of stopping here, Rather, instead of continuing from here, I would pause and create a sentence out of it. Because what's the point of conjugating verbs all day long if you're not uh, using those verbs? I always say that learning a language means using the language, not just uh, <clears throat> not just memorizing things about the language. No one's ever gonna you'll, you'll never get off the plane in Spain and someone's gonna say conjugate a verb. No, but you might need to use the conjugation in the right way. So why not start now? Um, I speak Spanish, just as a simple stand-in. Hablo español, okay? Hablas español means you speak Spanish informally. Tu hablas español, no? You can make a question just by saying hablas español, of course, right? Uh, the polite form of you is habla español. Usted habla español, right? And that's also third person, he or she. So, you know, Juan speaks Spanish is Juan habla español, right? <clears throat> Hablamos means we speak What's the Spanish version? I guess I think it's habláis. I don't use this. Habláis español is in, only in Spain, right? Is y'all, you all, vosotros. Habláis español. <clears throat> and then what I would say for the plural for you guys, uh, use guys, right? Speak Spanish is hablan español. Okay, so there we are. Um, you can make a question. So do y'all speak Spanish? Hablan español. No? And you could, you could, you could pivot or... Um, kind of create variations here. You could go hablo inglés, hablan inglés, hablamos inglés, en Estados Unidos, United States, hablamos inglés, and y, y hablamos español, y, and stuff like that, right? So there's that conjugation. Go to the past tense, hablé. Hablé means I spoke, and now, that, and by the way, this is the standard, if you don't, this is, if you, if you check out the, the book, 501 Spanish Verbs, um, which you might have already seen. This is how this is the way it's configured. So I, you, third person, first person, second person, third person, singular, first person, second person, third person, plural is the idea, right? So same idea here. <clears throat> so I spoke Spanish. Let's keep using this. Hablé español. I spoke Spanish today. I spoke Spanish today. It would be hablé español hoy. Did you speak Spanish today? It would be hablaste español hoy. Sometimes I um, color these endings too, but instead of taking a lot of time to color everything, just to just it's everything other than the stem, right? H A B L is the stem, <clears throat> and then you're uh, uh, changing the stem. So, hablé español hoy. Did you hablaste español hoy? No. Usted or he or she spoke Spanish. So Juan spoke Spanish. So Juan habló español hoy. Looks like hablo, but the, look, look at the, the emphasis, hablo. This is hablo. This is hablo. Okay? Uh, we spoke, is, happens to be the same, but in the context it makes sense. So hablamos español hoy. So what did you guys do today? Well, hablamos español. We studied, estudiamos español, right? Because this verb stands for other verbs too. It's just the ending. Um, <clears throat> hablasteis. Is there an accent? Honestly, I'd never use vosotros. If there's an accent there, then let me know in the comments. <laughs> okay, like I honestly, I forget what the deal is there. Hablaron, I never use it. Hablaron means you all or they spoke Spanish. So did you guys, did you all speak Spanish? Today would be hablaron español hoy, okay? And then future, there is, okay, I, you just do this. Voy a hablar, vas a hablar. Are you gonna speak Spanish today? Vas a hablar español hoy. He, she, polite form, you va. Uh, hablar español, let's speak Spanish, or we're going to speak Spanish, is vamos a hablar español, uh, y'all, I vice, right? Uh, hablar español, correct me if I'm wrong, and then for sure, van, van a hablar, sorry, van a hablar español, is that. Okay, so there's your model, there's tons of verbs that work this way, right? So we've just used hablar, but you could use estudiar, study, tomar means to drink, <clears throat> um, trabajar means to work, and uh, all of these verbs and more 
followed that pattern. This is the regular pattern. So you get the idea. Moving right along, um, we could use comer, to eat. Okay, uh, como, I eat. What's our stand-in? Tacos, no? Como tacos. Do you eat tacos? Comes tacos? He eats tacos. Come tacos. We eat tacos. Comemos tacos. Notice that the A of from hablar, hablamos, becomes, com, com, becomes comemos. So the AR becomes amos and the ER becomes amos. Okay? Um, <clears throat> comes, comes tacos. Okay? Again, if there's no accent or if I'm wrong, feel free to correct me. I just never use vosotros. Anyway, so comen tacos. Do y'all eat tacos? Comen tacos? Yeah, we eat tacos in Chicago. Comemos tacos in Chicago. And so on and so forth. I ate tacos today would be comí tacos hoy. Did you eat tacos today? Comiste tacos hoy? Right, so the A-S-T becomes E, uh, I-S-T-E here, okay? Uh, little changes. Comió tacos. Comimos is still the same. Comis, comistes or comistes without an accent, I forget. And I should have checked before I made this. Anyways, comieron is y'all or they ate. Eight tacos. So did y'all eat tacos today? Would be comieron tacos hoy, right? Or whatever else you wanted to say. Voy a comer, and I don't think I need to continue here because, as you can see, comer does not change. Hablar does not change. Uh, and comer doesn't change. So just follow. Voy a hablar. Voy vas a comer, va a comer, vamos a comer, vais a comer, van a comer, in that way, okay? Uh, IR verb could be um, to write something, so escribo, uh, by the way, a, a few others that work this way, aprender means to learn, um, <clears throat> aprender and, and whatever other regular ER verb, all right? Okay, escribo, <clears throat> comes from escribir, that's your IR verb, Dorothy, escribes, escribe, he writes, escribimos, following the, mm, not following the, yeah, well, sort of following the pattern, IR becomes I, so escribimos, uh, escribes, and escriben, okay, um, escribo, what do I write? Poetry, no, poesia. So, do you write poetry? Escribes poesia? Si, sí, escribo poesia. Or no escribo poesia. Escribimos poesia. Escriben poesia, and stuff like that. <clears throat> um, escribí <clears throat> is for the past. I wrote poetry. Escribí poesia. Escribí un poema. Escribiste. Escribió. Following the same as ER. Think of ER and IR as in the same family <clears throat> in a lot of places. Escribimos, escribisteis, and escribieron. Okay, and then of course over here, so if I highlighted these, you'd see a lot in common. Comieron, right? Escrib. Ieron and so forth. And then of course, voy a escribir, vas a escribir, va a escribir, vamos a escribir, vais a escribir, and so on and so forth. So there's your conjugation. There's even more conjugations in a, in a book, in an uh, excellent book like 500, <coughs> 501 Spanish Verbs. But my argument is you don't need to know everything at once. Just need to know, you just need to know what you need to know, what you want to know, what you, what you really want to say. And uh, you can do that through just taking a few of the highlights and um, uh, pairing them, if you like, with vocabulary, creating sentences, more importantly, creating conversation. Really, escribes poesia, Dorothy? Comes tacos? Hablas espanol? Are you gonna speak Spanish? Vas a hablar espanol? Gonna eat? So on and so forth, right? So take this and uh, you can practice writing, practice expressing thoughts. Uh, language learning happens when you express a thought. People think that Learning happens when you learn a new word or memorize a rule, <clears throat> but I like to say it's language out, not language in. So I'm not as concerned with how many new words you can learn, but rather um, what you can do with the words you have. So here's a lot of words, a lot of possibilities, a lot of um, potential for conversation. So give that a try and let me know what you think.